palm reading of a 38 year old person right now we have the left hand in front of us we would be giving a reading on the left hand first not the active hand and then we would move to the right hand before i start my video i would request you to press the bell icon on youtube and don't miss another update you can get a reading from me you can call me or you can email me these are the phone number and the email that are mentioned out here now we straight away head to this particular hand image and i would be telling about the main important points in this particular hand image first and then move to the uh, right hand uh, what we find out here is that on the left hand we find that this is the headline and this is the lifeline so you would notice on this particular headline on this particular portion and this is the money line so this intersection at this particular point the age is 35 on the headline so this is a little bit different kind of a headline that we see it is branching into two and it is happening somewhere at the age of 35 this is age 35 and there, there's an intersection of the money and the headline this portion is age 35 and the branching of the headline basically signifies that the person could be a genius genius doesn't mean that the person knows everything but there is a possibility that whatever the person is doing the person excels in that particular thing the first thing is that uh, the second thing is that at the age of 35 when there's branching of the headline you would notice that there's a trouble line that is coming from the mount of mars and coming and touching somewhere out here this is the area of mars negative mars negative is the area of anger aggression and fire uh, you can take any planet as positive as negative but uh, each and every planet has got its qualities but the negative qualities of the uh, of mars negative is that it creates oppositions and it creates some kind of troubles as well although it's a very positive planet do not think that it's a negative planet but it does create problems when there are horizontal lines horizontal lines coming and touching the headline so uh, there's a problem uh, somewhere at the age of 35 on the left on the left hand that we see and at the same time you would also notice this is the money line money line is coming and kind of ending somewhere before it touches before it touches the headline so somewhere at the age of 35 many think many important events might have taken place in this particular person's life and many changes might have taken place in this particular person's life break in the headline now the, sorry sorry i mean to say the break in the money line somewhere at the age of 34 this is what is happening out here so break in the headline basically sorry break in the freight line basically signifies some kind of troubles it could be financial because this is the fate line that is breaking but when the fate line is breaking the problem could be some some other problems as well it's not only just and just the money related sometimes it is personal life sometimes more responsibility falls onto this particular person's case because the main earning member of the family their health or wealth goes down that's the reason why more responsibility comes onto this particular person's head now uh, on the left hand i briefly tell you one or two more things and then move to the right hand the heart line in the left hand appears to be extremely long and reaching the mount of jupiter whenever it is very long it basically signifies that the person is very idealistic very sensitive and and the person is easily hurt and jupiter is not for basically money money basically is represented by basically saturn and if the heartline was ending somewhere on the mount of saturn that would have meant better for money and responsibility compared to when the heartline is ending on the mount of jupiter jupiter is not for money jupiter is more for idealism and sensitivity higher position honor all these kind of things not necessarily only money matters so where there is an option to make money the person still might lose that particular opportunity to make money so this is what is represented by when the heartland is very long so higher expectations come the person gets easily hurt so these qualities basically come to this particular person there are few branches also hanging downwards towards the headline this is the headline and hang these branches should not be there branches basically kind of distracts that particular person although these branches are not so 
not so very strong kind of branches that are hanging down the other part is regarding the sunline the sunline appears to be initially good uh, and this portion of that but beyond that this particular portion this portion is from the age of 35 to age 53 it is kind of a little bit light little bit dim this is what you see out here little bit dim and beyond and uh, between the heart line and the finger of sun you would notice that the sun line is very deep and clear deep and clear sun line basically signifies that the person would energize his work that's the reason why his work is basically going to shine some people call the sun line to be the line of luck some people call it to be the line of name and fame i basically call it call this particular line as how much energy the person is likely to give to his work and when the line is strong it means that the person is giving huge amount of energies to his works that's the reason why the person basically shines in the society uh, other part of the hand is that there are perpendicular lines on the mount of uh, mount of mercury this is the area of technical skills communication skills all these kind of things people who have got perpendicular lines uh, over the mount of uh, Jupiter is th this is a good sign because the person has got good set of skills and communication there are few horizontal kind of lines also out here on the mount of uh, mount of uh, Venus this is a little bit negative because it kind of uh, uh, the person kind of uh, puts his energy in wrong use and uh, uh, there shouldn't be these horizontal kind of lines and sometimes these lines also affect one's health and but because they, these lines are not coming and touching the lifelines so we would say that problems could be there but somehow it's not going to affect this particular person to that much extent in the initial part, period of life the person might have experienced because there's a strong line coming and touching the lifeline so this is a little bit negative but otherwise uh, it's not these lines are not touching that are touching that are moving towards the lifeline at a later stage then uh, you'd notice that that on the headline and the lifeline there are few upward lines pointing towards the mount of jupiter jupiter is a big planet these lines are also moving towards jupiter so the person reaches up to a higher position in his life these upward lines pointing towards the uh, towards the saturn mount this takes a person to a uh, this uh, it makes a person lucky in money matters so this is what the left hand is uh, was representing now we move to the right hand now on the right hand there are there are many similarities but uh, not everything is same exactly uh, as it was in the uh, as it was in the left hand there there's similarity that the sun line the carrier line you would notice that in the initial part it is reasonably good then it becomes really dim it's barely visible when the sun line is barely visible it is something to do with it is something to do with imagine that there are lots of clouds that have come inside your room and when there are too many clouds you are unable to find your way out of the room so it basically signifies some amount of doubts that are going to creep in so that's a uh, th this is a little bit negative aspect but beyond the heart line and below the finger you would notice a excellent sun line so sometimes even when we, we find that this portion of the line is dim in spite of this and i find that the sun line is strong out here just under the finger this basically kind of uh, negates the ill bad effects of a dim line out here now what also i have seen in uh, repeatedly that when we find that the sun line is so deep and clear out here it means that the person would would never retire in his life not not that uh, the person needs to work but because the person is going to remain productive and that uh, the the person would keep on energizing his work and that's the reason why the person would remain productive and it's a it's a beautiful sign to have a strong sunline means success show shot it basically means success now the other part the sim the similar part is that this line on the mount of mercury this is the line of skill and communication i have already explained out here these lines are uh, the mercury lines are deep and clear signifying that the person is able to convey his things in a very precise way the person who is very precise in his calculations and communication the chances for their success basically increases 
So this is what we are trying to uh, look on the palm. And uh, people who have uh, crisscrossing lines, so imagine if there were crisscrossing lines, it would signify that the person is miscommunicating and miscalculating. People who miscommunicate and miscalculate the chances for their success goes down. So this is what is seen out here. In the right hand, you would also notice that the heart line is kind of breaking out here. There's an overlap and then the uh, heart line is again starting. Then again, there's a break somewhere out here. So there are two breaks on the sun line and specifically under the third finger. This is the third finger, so just under it. So it may relate to heart issues or eye related issues. The person should be careful. But not necessarily, I've seen that uh, whenever there's a show shot break, it doesn't mean that show shot the person is going to have these uh, heart issues or something like this. It could be something el else as well. We try to, we try to see, uh, see heart line, generally people think this is the heart line and people think this is the line of relationships and love life and all these kind of things. But I try to see the line of heart in terms of your career as well. A person who has a deep and clear singular kind of line without any breaks is able to kind of give his life to a one particular cause. A person who has these branches kind of gets distracted and there's a strong branch in, in the right hand. It is showing a strong branch that is kind of weighing down on the heart, on the physical heart as well and the emotional part as well. Imagine this is your heart and there's a rope hanging onto your heart. And there's a lot of weight hanging on to that particular heart with this branch, this branch out here hanging on to the physical heart. So it's going to strain the person's heart. And that's the reason why the person would feel uh, d like uh, it would kind of lag. Uh, it would be kind of a weight on that particular person. And it would it basically uh, means uh, strong distractions in terms of relationship or work as well. So. Uh, I would suggest that the person should remain committed. This particular break that we see out here, it basically signifies that the person uh, might suddenly end his relationship or abruptly end and start something else as well. So this is what is represented by, uh, by this break. As far as the headline goes, uh, you would notice this particular headline is a little bit different kind of headline. See, each headline should be uh, each headline should be very simple kind. The simpler it is, the more uh, predictable the personality is. What is happening out here is that there's a wave-like formation. There's a wave-like formation, something like this out here. So wave-like formation kind of uh, changes one's uh, 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 one thought process. And uh, there's not like, just imagine, I'm just giving an example. Uh, it is something like when when there's a small kid, we can predict what the kid wants. As the person is growing older, we basically can predict everything. But out here, when there's a wave-like formation, it creates some kind of issues and uh, uh, some kind of difficult issues. And that's the reason why it would be not very easy to predict what the person is likely to do next. So this is what it is. Uh, although there's no break on the headline, but uh, there's a sway in the headline. So the person's uh, thought process is going to get swayed in a different way. And somewhere at the age of 35, there's a branch-like thing. So branch-like thing is considered to be good. It's a, it's, a, it's a good sign. The downward leaning of line basically means imagination. The upward line means uh, kind of towards moving towards technical skills and when the line is splitting into two branching so it it means uh, the person can see things in two different perspective with the practicality as well as imagination both these things so the area of his uh, imagination area of his thought process is much wider than if there was only a simple kind of a headline uh, similar kind of upward lines can be seen uh, in, in in the right hand as well from the lifeline as well, these upward lines, these upward lines are kind of gains and uh, it is a good sign of Jupiter being a big planet and lifeline moving towards the backward movement of the lifeline towards the Mount of uh, Jupiter basically signifies that a person's life is getting guided by Jupiter and guided by Jupiter means expansion. 
growth in one's life, honor in one's life. This is what it is basically the person would be getting. There's a small, uh, there's an island like formation appearing on the lifeline. Now, island like formations are generally not considered to be good, and it is happening uh, uh, somewhere in midlife. Uh, probably the person right now is 38 so it might be it might be going on uh, in this particular person's case and island on the lifeline basically signifies some amount of uh, uh, physical uh, uh, health related issues that might be cropping up so the person needs to be careful regarding his health issues uh, and uh, uh, so this is uh, I think this should be a priority for this particular person and uh, now we basically move to the other images that the person has uh, given to us uh, they they are quite similar so i just take a brief look out here what it is showing out here if there's anything new i can tell now in the right hand you'd notice that the heart line is not so long uh, as it was seen in the in the left hand it is quite uh, it is ending somewhere <coughs> close to the Mount of Saturn, a heart line that ends on the Mount of Saturn. The, uh, the heart line that ends on the Mount of Saturn signifies that the person angles towards money. The person is responsible. The person knows the ground situations very well. And uh, the person is realistic. If it was reaching Jupiter, it would have been idealistic. So a person who is realistic and angling towards money, the person is likely to get more money. So there is a shift, there is a change in the way the person, basically uh, his heart is functioning from what he was to what he is basically now. Uh, there are good signs as well as bad signs. Uh, the bad signs I have already explained to you, these uh, downward lines from the heart line, this is bad, but a strong Heartline basically kind of compensates everything, and even the heartline that is ending somewhere on the Mount of uh, on the Mount of uh, Saturn. Basically, it uh, it is the same. Another thing out here is that you would notice that uh, the uh, uh, just just one moment. You would notice that the palm is somewhat. You would notice that uh, it is uh, it is uh, it is not like uh, uh, it is not broad it is quite uh, it's not, uh, the width of the hand is a little bit less so width of whenever less basically sometimes it brings in a uh, back related issues or uh, spinal related issues uh, this could be a tendency not necessarily the person might experience so this is what the other part is that the little bit different thing that we see is that horizontal line on the uh, jupiter finger Jupiter finger when we, whenever we have uh, horizontal lines so basically horizontal lines is a little bit negative because uh, uh, imagine from the fingers energies is penetrating energies in, and light is penetrating and this basically this finger basically signifies administration religion politics honor high position and these positive energies of uh, all these kind of things are getting uh, disturbed and getting blocked by this horizontal line so this is a little bit negative i won't i might not have been able to explain to you the whole meaning about it but it it is a little bit negative and uh, uh, and there are three sections to uh, each finger the first section is the area of mental stimulation so there is no horizontal line out here this is the area of practical and physical stimulation so this is where there's a horizontal line and this is the bhogi part user of things so uh, it is on the jupiter the jupiter finger and the second section so somewhere to do with the practical side or, or something like that and on the sun line as well you would notice that there's a horizontal line on the top section so this is the area of mental stimulation this finger is basically for uh, creativity art music uh, risk taking brilliance and uh, uh, so the, uh, it represents all these things you would notice that the satin fingers are a little bit long very long comparatively much more long see satin finger shouldn't be too long satin finger is uh, see satin is a planet that moves around the sun in a very slow motion and 
if the satin finger becomes much more longer so the effects of satin basically increases so it's better not to have uh, more effects of satin on our personality because it might make us very serious and more like delays coming in our life so satin is something to do with that and uh, uh, restrictment it kind of restricts also the person so all these things might might be applying uh, in this particular person say there could be delays and these things that might be applying and uh, one last look at the hand again and uh, so the amount of uh, mercury is good sun is good with this strong line and even jupiter is good with less lines over it so don't think less lines is bad less lines is very good sign and uh, in both hands the money line is kind of changing somewhere at the age of 34 35 and there's the money line again starts somewhere at the age of 36 or so so this is what i i saw on this particular hand before i end my video i would uh, repeat something that i repeat in almost all my videos we can come to know about money from almost any line or any planet heart line headline lifeline sunline mercury venus mars or any other line so money, possession and wealth can be seen on any aspect of your palm. Uh, the money line basically tells only 15% of how much money we are likely to make in our life. It's all aspects of our palm that basically is important. A saint once said, you do not need to go to an astrologer or a palmist to know about your future because you already know your future. Present is a result of past. How will be my future? Future depends upon what you are doing in the present. What are we? We are product of our thoughts. So the thoughts that come to our mind are really important. Keep positive thoughts and keep good company. Company matters the most because even if we have good aspects or, uh, on a palm, very good aspects, it might not play out if we are in the bad company. So company matters the most and, and some basically you should have a goal or something like that. Thanks for watching this video. Bye and take care.